Hey there, props to history here. I am with Brandon Allender, COO of Prop Store, and uh, we are standing in front of Gizmo, the actual hero animatronic Gizmo from Gremlins 2, the new batch. How did this survive? How did you guys end up with this? Well, Michael, this came out of Rick Baker's shop. So oh, Rick Baker's okay. Cinemation <laughs> Studios, they did all the effects for the second Gremlins film. Mm -hmm. Chris Wayless Industries did the first Gremlins film, and then Rick Baker took over for the second movie. They redesigned the Gremlins slightly. I think Gizmo is pretty similar to the original design, but the evil Gremlins, they did redesign. They introduced, of course, several new models oh, yeah. in the second film and several new evil Gremlins as well. But Rick had a lot of the puppets after filming, and he stored them very well. You know, one of the things they did at Cinovation was to build individual transport and storage boxes for almost every puppet, or certainly every Mogwai, on Gremlins 2. And then when the film wrapped, they kept those, they kept the puppets in those storage boxes. So the first time I saw this was 12, 14 years ago at Rick's shop, and it was in its original Cinovation storage box oh, with wow. its fold-open lid. And inside, it was perfectly preserved. So oh, this thing is sense. held up fantastically well. It's in amazing condition. It's a far cry from the way they used to treat puppets and whatnot. And you're yeah. going back to the 60s and 70s when they were just used, put on a shelf, and then left. And yeah. then left. We see that too much now with, par with particularly puppets from that period or animatronics from like even the 80s that weren't preserved that way. It's amazing that Rick did all that. No, it's true. I mean, obviously Rick Baker was, was one of the best and also, you know, a film like Gremlins 2 had a big budget. I mean, mm. the puppets are a huge part of that movie. Oh, yeah. So they were taken very seriously. And so they had the funds to do yeah. things like build storage boxes, take care of things well. You know, and initially when they wrap production, the reason that they want to store something like this well is they may get a phone call in three months that they have to do reshoots. Mm -hmm. So that tends to be where the preservation kind of starts. It's right. like, well, what if we need to shoot more with it? Sometimes it goes into marketing, right? Well, mm -hmm. maybe we'll use these things for marketing in some way. And then ultimately, you know, an artist like Rick would just want to preserve examples of his work. They may want to reference it in the future. Sometimes, as I'm sure you know, they cannibalize things. Oh, yeah. They steal the, they steal the internals, the mechanisms. They yes. say, hey, remember that thing that we built for that gizmo shot? We could use it for this other movie. So especially in creature effects, you see a lot of that type of thing happen. And it's wonderful to see, like, even though this is relatively advanced animatronics it's very early animatronics what we're used to now and that the whole system still survives is yeah. wonderful yeah i mean the only thing that we don't have here with this is the radio controller that would actually drive the servos mm -hmm. um but you know i think what's interesting about this is it's a combination of hand puppeteering so you mm -hmm. have those hand controllers down at the bottom and then the servos which will be performed by other puppeteers offset with radios and in total you get a lot of life out of it and one interesting thing with the Mogwai specifically is that they built this modular face system. The face is held on the little poppers or snaps. It comes off, and then you can change the face for one with a different expression. Oh, wow. So this is like a smiley, slightly happy expression. They had these sort of many faces of gizmo thing when you know you have sad, excited, startled, whatever it is. <laughs> and it's amazing because I, I, I saw a bunch of different faces. We've had a lot of them in the past. And when you do swap them over, and when you hold it up to it, it's amazing how much life it puts into the character, yeah. just having a different mouth on it. That's magnificent. You can find out more at propstore.com forward slash live auction. The auction runs from June 21st to the 24th, correct? That's right, four days of auction. Four days of auction. Get ready. I want that so bad. <laughs> Props to history. Thank you.